Hi everyone. This is going to be a very quick video. I realized today that while I was explaining the debugging concepts, I didn't discuss about one of the important concept and that is called external breakpoints. So um, this is going to be a quick a quick demo on how to how to use external breakpoints and uh, this is going to be very useful when you are trying to debug the application from an external application let's say you are trying to hit the ecc box from portal or a webdin pro application so webdin pro and all as i said i wanted to explain uh, everything in sequence but i don't know when i will be able to do that even though oops app is still pending but uh, people who are already working on similar kind of scenarios this is going to be useful for them so uh, I mean, never, nevertheless, uh, whatever it is, knowledge is always better. So, uh, just go through this and understand how do we debug using the external breakpoint. And it's not just about WebDIN Pro application or a portal. It can be within ECC applications as well. So, let's say a different user is triggering a transaction and you want to debug it in your system. A similar kind of scenario. Okay. So, uh, again, I would need uh, some time before I upload this video because I would like to uh, edit this video and hide few things so that uh, it doesn't create any problem so I know that this is a class in this class I have different methods and these methods are going to be triggered when I'm calling uh, when I'm calling this from an external webdin pro application. So I have a webdin pro portal here and this webdin pro portal So my purpose is when I log into this portal, I would sh I should know that what kind of uh, processing going on in the back end or at runtime So what I need to do here so I know that this portal is going to have a test ID. It's not my ID. Had it been my ID, then it's basically being the same user. But then it's a different ID. But either way, I mean, because it's an external application, so it's going to be external breakpoint. But either way, so it's a different ID. So I would need to set an external breakpoint for that user. So let's say, so you can see, set delete external breakpoint. You can click here. So you'll get a message that it has set an external debugging. And then if you go to utilities, settings, and debugging, and user. So you, you would need to provide the username using which the external application is going to hit your uh, SAP box. It could be any box like normal ECC or SRM or anything else. So I'm entering a user ID here. So this will be masked. I mean, when you'll be watching this video, but uh, it's a normal user ID. So you would need to enter that user ID here. Hit OK. And then probably when you click on this external debugging, then this external breakpoint would be set specific to that user who is going to hit the application ECC box. Now, when you do this, and you can see this symbol over here, go to a transaction called SR debug and then click on activate debugging in the activate debugging you have to keep that user id so i just replace that user id over here hit ok and you will get this pop-up remote ABAP debugging leave this pop-up as it is come to your application and log in So I clicked on log on and just trying to access the portal but in the back end actually I'm trying to access the ECC application. So it will go inside.
and it will automatically trigger the external breakpoint and here after it's going to be a normal ABAP debugging you might see different classes methods and all so I know I wanted to cover the oops concepts and I am extremely busy I'm not able to give the time uh, needed for those videos so I don't know when I'll be able to cover that but then this was just a quick tip so I thought of sharing that with everyone so and then once you hit F8 which means you are done with your debugging it system will uh, push you back to the external application from where you are actually hitting this system so basically you gave some input from the portal it came here it will do all the normal web processing and push that output back to the external application so I just clicked on F8 and I should be back to my application so this is how we do the external debugging so thank you everyone for watching this video and I hope to see you again soon thanks